Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Our Guns. So with Module 25, we're getting a new zone, and with it, we're getting mini bosses. And those mini bosses will drop you currency that will enable you to obtain some of the newest gear from enchantments, combat enchantments, to some decent legendary gear, at least on some classes, along with your vanity pet. Now these mini bosses will give you the currency of these elite sigils. Now, additional to the sigils, those mini bosses have a small chance, like maybe 2%, to drop you one of these rings from legendary to just epic. Now, you can read through the different rings and you can see they seem to just give you a bunch of stats, just 3000 of a rating. We can just hover over each of them there. You can pause if you want to look at it. But additionally, they give you some extra stats of plus 7% and 5% of two different stats if you're within the lockdown event. So you could make a build specifically for the lockdown event using these rings and that might be viable. But otherwise, the purple rings are pretty terrible in my opinion. Again, they just give you a bunch of stats, but only for like 15 seconds every 30 seconds in uh, combat. So not something i would go for but keep in mind when you do obtain those rings like we have done they are unbound you'll be able to sell them and potentially make a profit still all open to change however bind statuses can change when this goes to the live server so initially you'll unlock this hub area here it doesn't look like much nothing impressive and then you want to go and you want to teleport to one of the districts We'll head over here in the Brayan district and you can see the whole map. I've revealed pretty much everything I can without going outside the boundaries of the map. And there are 10 different mini bosses. You can skip towards the end of the video if you just want to see the map itself. And otherwise, it's also linked down below to the image of it. So I'm just first going to show you each of the spawn locations of those mini bosses we're going to start all the way in this left corner here and yes this map is freaking huge like you take so long to go on your mount from one side to the next i wish they had higher mount speed that's for sure but we just head up you can see where we are in the map and in this corner you should find count corellius He's a mini boss, decent amount of hit points, and he does have some unique mechanics compared to just some normal ads like stunning and dazing us here. But when we do go and kill him, you can see he drops us that one elite sigil. Then we'll head out here onto this main street, go down a bit, and then over here, and you can see where we are, and down into this hollow, and you should find this guy, Rishaz. And yeah, we'll just go and kill him real quick. We're using our Black Death Scorpion here. He helps out with giving us combat advantage regardless of positioning. And again, killing him gives us another sigil. So after killing the Manticore, we need to head off this way. Then head up here a little bit until we get to this part. We can head through here and we'll find the next mini boss. You have the master of the watch. He's like a lizard rider dude. And again, you go and kill him and you get that drop of the elite sigil. They can drop you the rings as well, the epic and legendary ones. I don't think they're all too great. But again, on the map, he's just over here. And we got these different types of rings, as you can see. They'll all be in the collections just right there. None of them, I think, are too good. Then from here, we need to head back a little bit through here and through this big archway and then just for a long time up this way till we get to this gate. From here we head south all the way to the heroic encounter and just at the bottom here you will find this next mini boss. He's rust gut. Well he can be a bit annoying to kill with regards to the heroic encounter if that's up because they'll all come and attack you but we just about managed to do so before dying getting our sigil. Then from there we can head back up again. You can find a stone shadow just up here in like this section. There's a basilisk. It will turn you to stone if you're not careful, but we can just go and kill him here. And again, he drops you another sigil. From here, it's very easy. We can just go around the wall. It does glitch out here in the graphics a bit. Hopefully they fix that. But just heading up here, you will find 
the next mini boss acolyte of Xemnit. he's just a beholder and i guess similar to what we're going to see in the trial and again killing him him drops us the sigil again on the map he's just all the way up top right here from here we can head to about the center of the map and just tucked away here you will find the fire giant mini boss and he's just on the map over here in the center kind of again we can just go and kill him off and we get another sigil then we can head back up again to the top of the map and once you get to like this gateway you need to go to the right here and go around past this ad group and here you will find the abyssal mother again killing her will also give you a sigil again they all have a chance to drop you those rings as well then up here in the top section in this alcove you'll find a balor and this guy again we can go and kill he can be cc'd a little bit like any push with my repel they might fix that but uh, yeah again just dropping us another sigil now the final mini boss we shall find on the map just here the night queen and she's by that lamp post she's got her common drider attacks and once she's dead yeah again another sigil you're mainly just doing this for those sigils again those sigils you will be using you can see you actually need quite a lot of them and if each mini boss is only dropping one well uh yeah it's quite a grind but like for an enchantment you need a hundred of them and for a combat enchantment you need 150 of them and for the legendary new gear you need like 100 for this 125 for those and uh, that's across the board with regards to that gear and if you want the vanity pet you'll only just need three now the easiest option normally to obtain those sigils is in a group event which is called lockdown which is active right now you can see we have three of those mini bosses spawned i've already killed two of them that's why the bar is not full and those drider house captains you want to go as a group and kill them together and when you go and actually kill them then they will drop you a total of six of those sigils instead of just one from the mini bosses and so each lockdown event where you have those other spiders those other captains you can kill a total of five of them so that's a total of 30 of those sigils you can get per lockdown event and then i'm assuming the lockdown events can happen across the instances so you'll be able to simply hop instance kill a bunch more and hop again you just need to have other people to help you kill them on a previous server that's a bit hard because people aren't really motivated to do anything on the previous server because it doesn't benefit them to do so so i have to go and i have to kill them solo which is doable like i can you just need to be on the ball and uh, just always avoid their attacks especially as range gps it's pretty easy and with the, the spider or I mean the scorpion attacking the captain I can make sure I always have combat advantage so that's really helpful you just have to dodge out of those attacks and heal up whenever we can ultimately here is the mini boss map where you can see all the locations of those mini bosses keep in mind again there's 10 of them that I could find this is still the preview server still open to change they could add more mini bosses who knows they could even take away some of them and hopefully they increase the drop amount of those elite sigils because yeah just getting one per mini boss is a bit rough when you need like 150 of them again a massive thank you to all of these channel members for helping me keep my channel going you can support me for as little as one euro a month by clicking the join button and if i presented this well consider leaving the video a like and if you're new around here consider subscribing we'll see you guys around goodbye for now